But first, after over a year and a half, the dunk is back up and running as the Providence Bruins take on the Springfield Thunderbirds. Our 12 News reporter Matt Paddock is downtown Providence with the extra incentive being offered tonight. Matt? That's right, fans were excited to be back watching live hockey here at the Dunkin' Donut Center in Providence. And for those fans, they were offering free tickets and merchandise to those that got their vaccine. I can smell the ice, uh, just seeing it glisten like it does. Hockey is back in the capital city as fans coming out for tonight's first exhibition matchup. Last event was uh, March 2nd, 2020, and uh, we've been working really hard to get back to this day. And for fans that are still looking to get their vaccine, we did over 150,000 vaccines in this building, tested about 250,000 Rhode Islanders, and all of that was in anticipation for uh, for this day. According to Lawrence Lapore, general manager of the Dunkin' Donuts Center, Saturday they could grab a shot. And free tickets, and even a grab bag with apparel and gear. We've had about 20 people already take advantage of free tickets for tonight's game if they come in and got vaccinated. There were some appointments made. If you already had a ticket, you got some merchandise. The dunk will be offering vaccines for all of their events in October, including when the WWE comes to town. And we'll keep it going as long as the health department feels that there's a need to get the word out, they get as many Rhode Islanders vaccinated so we can truly get back to a normal uh, way of, uh, of entertainment and life. For fans like Dominic Simone, there's nothing better than being back by the ice. The place is electric, man. It's phenomenal to be back. After a crazy year like we just had, uh, walking back in and seeing the people that I recognize, seeing the people I know, seeing new faces. Uh, the dunk is electric. The Providence Bruins are phenomenal, and I uh, love being here. Now, we spoke with staff here at the Dunkin' Donut Center, and they tell us tonight's exhibition match was kind of like a trial run. They only sold 3,000 tickets, but they say come opening night, they expect a pet house here in Providence. For reporting at the Dunkin' Donut Center, Matt Pettick, News.